hello, welcome to another KD Does Commentary. I am KD and I'm having some sort of an allergy attack. So sorry if I sniffle, if I sound weird, or if I blow my nose. I'm just, <laughs> I'm suffering. It's also hot, so I'm sorry if you hear a fan in the background. Hopefully you don't. This is my second, um, what's it called? Commentary track I'm recording today. And it's for Lizzie Borden took an axe starring Christina Ricci, Clea Duvall, some other people in the cast. I don't know. Um, I've seen this before. Um, it's been a while, but I've seen it. I I watched the, the miniseries version. It was basically like, what if it was like her life after she was acquitted and they, it wasn't really a hundred percent like historically accurate but it was um some elements i guess of that were true but we're watching the movie we're now watching the show i remember i would get severe like <laughs> not severely i'd get really lost in the show the chronicles like the lizzie borden chronicles i'd be like wait what just happened huh but this movie is based off of a real murder it's actually a double murder if i remember correctly Um, a famous story where a woman was like, everybody's still to this day, thinks she a hundred percent did it, but she was acquitted. And, um, yeah, it's a real thing, a real, real people based on a true story. So, um, I'm hitting play in three, two, one. It's on Netflix, by the way, if you have Netflix, it's streaming on Netflix. A lot of stuff I watch, uh, streaming. She's eating a pear. I haven't eaten a pear in a while. Unrelated, but it's true. Gosh, my nose. I wish it would just... I love Christina Ricci. Don't be surprised if I do a lot of her, some more of her movies and pro- projects. <laughs> I don't know why I have to say it like that. But I love her stuff. I really wish they still had Pro Zach Nation uh, streaming because that's a really good movie. Very emotional, very heavy, but really good. That's creepy. (laughs) Dude, you already look dead and you haven't had your head bashed in already. It's not really a spoiler. (laughs) Because it's a famous true crime story. And it bothers some people that they play modern music. Not, you know, 1800s or whatever this takes place in. If I remember correctly, it, it begins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sorry. Clue Duvall is in a lot of good stuff. Reminds me of another movie I want to do commentary for, and that's for But I'm a Cheerleader. That's an amazing movie. Tree Adams. That person's first name is Tree. Father. Oh, thank you. Doesn't really work like that. <laughs> the lovely you are, the more children you have. <laughs> I guess. Jeez, with his logic. The mutton? I am worried. That's how I grew up. 
It's eat what's in front of you or starve. Is mutton just like a type of soup? I can't remember what it is. God, they're so bored. She's like, okay, okay, I guess. <laughs> I like his reaction, just like, oh. I'm supposed to be in charge of this household. And she's just like, excuse me, father, but I'm leaving the table now. So you can suck it, father. <laughs> Love that, just like foom. She's like, I'm fed up. The chickens, whatever they are. I couldn't see. Oh, they're pigeons. I think. I don't know. They're birds. <laughs> I just assumed they were chickens, and I've seen this before, which kills me. Susan? Alrighty then. Ooh, little thief. I turned the fan down so that I wouldn't be interfering so much. But I don't know if it will work. Silly man. I want it all. So boring there. Your feelings are correct, Lizzie. And she was actually born, her name, her like birth name is Lizzie. It's not like Elizabeth, it's like Lizzie. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking, like look it up. It'll say her birth name. Uh, she knew that, so she's like, here, I stole money. Either way, it's her money. <laughs> Either way, it's my mother's money. <laughs> so nonchalant. <laughs> Gosh, I wish my nose would just stop. Like, <laughs> unrelated, but... I'm having an uh, allergy attack. Gosh, are we really watching this? Oh yeah. It's like, she's like, who am I? Don't know why we're, I don't know. Oh gosh, could you imagine? Father, are you trying to peep on me? Trying to be a peeping Tom? Father's upset. 
preposterous. Uh, of course. <laughs> oh. He's like, he belongs in the haunted mansion. I, th I bet you I would bet my bottom dollar that that guy is what the ghost host looks like. <laughs> or the owner of the mansion or something. She's in the Miss Independent. Uh, doesn't it go? Ew. <laughs> Daddy, remember I'm pretty. <laughs> like, ew. Also, just to let you know, in another period piece in Baz, in Baz Luhrmann's uh, Great Gatsby, they also play um, modern music. So if it if, you, if that bothers you, playing you know modern music in a period piece, um, you know it's probably not for you. It bothers people, you know. It bothered me in Great Gatsby. I was like, really, we're playing like like Fergie's on this track, and she's like, speak easy. And I'm like, oh gosh. Whoa. Once again, apologizing for my nose. It's a pretty good name. Stanley Jeffries. She's too cool for you, that's why. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what they call it, Sunday school. Mwah, mwah. Lizzie Borden. Is that you? Oh boy. This song's fun. Her bed looks comfy. What's the hubbub? Oh. Is she remembering something she did or is it like she's seeing it? I can't remember. It's so strange. Don't bother me. I'm sleeping. You're fired. <laughs> I think that's the mom. The stepmom or whatever. Go away, I'm sleeping. I? Oh. Back in the day, $20 must have been like 200 You know what I mean? $20 is a lot. For century. It was inside. It's cute. <laughs> I hate my nose. I hate my nose. It's just. Ugh. <laughs> How dare thee Please Way to like Just be like You're a stepmother He's like You're a, just a, a stepmother She's like 30 or something like that, and she acts like 
a teenager in a way. Prisoner. I'm getting Waterford vibes. <laughs> Fred Waterford from Hemmate's Tale. And ever. Is he obsessed with his daughters? Why are people getting in their cars so loudly? This is gross. This is gross. <laughs> Too bad. It's not a bad thing. In today's terms they say the first sign of a serial killer is when they're like killing animals hello don't mind the blood sister <laughs> okay peace out No, I'm disturbed. <laughs> She's got that crazy look. Like, <laughs> how does she not notice that there's blood? <laughs> These tunes, though, that strut. So much fashion. Almost, she says ma'am, and it, it has a, she has a accent. It sounds like she says mom. He has mom. God, she's creepy. Lizzie, you're a creeper. I sneeze, don't sneeze. Clean my windows. God, I can sneeze, but I don't want to. She's barefoot. She's gonna get blood on her feet. Mother dearest, how is you? Oh God. <coughs> Excuse me. Back when you had a pump for your water. Pump, pump, pump. It's a pretty impressive house. Do they not believe in keys or something? How dare you lock the door? <laughs> Don't 
don't have your lies too detailed, honey, because then they're going to be like, well, where's the note? Oh, here's everything. Get off of me. Uh. No, I'm disturbed. <laughs> Girl, it's hot here. You should come to here. Why are you sweating so? You are moist. <laughs> So creepy. Like, you gotta take a nap. I'm gonna watch you sleep. <laughs> we'll go. Like, jeez. I'm acting so strange. Dang. I wish my congestion would go away. And my sneezing. But alas, it is here. He's like, ah, that's enough reading. My eyes are tired. I like his boots. Can we talk about those boots? I know this is like a tense moment, but I want to talk about his boots. And they're impressive. Like that, he already looks dead. I'm sorry. He looks dead, like, I'm sorry, he just looks dead. Gosh. It's interesting how they shoot this. Like, they don't show her doing it, but it's like... Kind of matches the mystery of the whole thing. Sure. Grody. But the pictures from, like, the real... Like, the, the real people that got murdered... They actually, yeah, they, like, got hit so many times in the face and the head that you just, like, couldn't even tell who they were. Family physician. I'd go to Policia as well, Bridget. There we go. A horse and carriage. How they invest... They would have caught her if they had, like, DNA and stuff like that. Ooh. Ooh la la la. Ooh la la la. Aw. She... she Oh. <laughs> She's like, um, hi. <laughs> no, my other father. <laughs> It's like, how did you know to check upstairs? I think maybe we should check. I'd be like, maybe we should just check the house. Like, I wouldn't be like, let's, I'll directly lead you to the body. <laughs> Jeez.
Ah. I think I've seen this guy before. Ew. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Hold on, let me bring my contraption in here and I'll take a picture of the crime scene. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she... What the hell? I have a direct message. I had a direct message, didn't even know. Sorry! I'm talking about on Instagram. Miss Lizzie. I just want food, y'all. And I want my nose to f just... I was eating. Huh. Uh, <laughs> she likes pears. I just, I eat pears in barns. It's no big deal. She's like, please, I don't want to talk to you again. I think I found the murder weapon. Lizzie Bond and Tucker X. Ooh, that's a sight. She looks like a... a ghost. Ew, it's where they eat food, sickos. I understand. She could have time to clean her hands, dog. Be like, um, excuse me, buy me dinner first. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I know what he's doing. It's just. <sighs> sure. <sighs> Arms up, buttercup. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, are you really even a newspaper reporter if you don't have like a bowler hat or some form of amazing hat? This guy's been in a lot of stuff. An hour? They're not inside, so you can conduct a proper investigation. Si, sí, senor. No. No. 
poor Bridget. Bridget's like, what the hell is happening? Oh, God. Was a complicated man. But I loved him. Yeah, this guy's like, I'm suspicious. Also, too, if someone was killed, oh, yeah, thanks. So, Bridge has got to take care of that. Because if someone, if two people were murdered in the same house and it was an hour apart, nobody would, a killer would not leave and then come back. That's dumb. That's another reason why they're like, it has to be someone in the house. Suppose we should move. <laughs> I accidentally murdered them. <laughs> She's wondering why she didn't leave the house. Thinking, oh, is the, the killer still there? They run. She ought to be uh, accused. But she is a killer. Isn't she lovely? This is also... I think she also got off of partially because they probably thought, oh, women can't murder. <laughs> Back when they thought women couldn't do anything. It's like... Axe head without a handle. That's a cool mustache. You go, boy. You go, boy. Would you like some? Isn't she lovely? He was a butthole, your father. Oh. Present. Yep. Sorry. You.
Any other labor? Mat- wait, what? Any other matter? Sorry. Hosea? Huh? Is that his name? It's like, I don't know whether to name my child Josiah or Jose, so they're Hosea. <laughs> Oh, so she's not a culprit or whatever. She is not a suspect. <laughs> it is 90 degrees in my house. Just, you know, that you should know. Yeah. They would not hide for an hour or two. Yes. I like this song. It sounds like it's an electric harmonica almost. Dang. <laughs> Why am I so tired? How they're just gonna show up. Oh God. There are lots of the bodies. Oh lovely. Have fun. I don't know. Thirty looked at the bodies. They took pictures. It's like, what are you gonna find? It kills me when they like bury, when they uh, dig up people who have been, who have been like dead for years because like the case was really weird. And I'm like, what are you gonna find? A skeleton, you know what I mean? Unless there's damage to the skeleton that could, like, you know, answer your question. Sorry. My dog is like, it's hot. I don't like this. Is it? And it's autopsy? Oh, fun! me but what about lunch <laughs> I need some sandwiches some tea <laughs> some french fries <laughs> she's all excited yeah it's interesting <laughs> Lizzie, at least try to act like <laughs> a 
normal person. This part was creepy. This is a really weird scene. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> she peers from the darkness. Good night. <laughs> yeah, and she locks the door. She's like. Freaks me out. And you're just in the state, and you, and you must just be like in a state of just not feeling safe in general. Like you're in that house. It's like, what if, she doesn't know that it's Lizzie, but she knows that Lizzie's acting weird. And it's like, you don't know if someone's going to re-enter your house. She's cleaning something. Hi, dog. What's up, my puppy? Andrew Borden. Oh. What do you want, puppy? I gave you food and you're like, I don't want that. My dog. My poor dog is like, it's hot. Mucho. Dinero, I assume. She's like, I don't care. <laughs> Mustache man's in the back round. Yes. <laughs> I have no idea. I burnt it. Yeah, this is a uh, not weird, not suspicious at all. Go back to bed. Yeah, that's not suspicious whatsoever. <laughs> Thank you. Papers, get your papers here. <laughs> Burn. 
burn, baby, burn. Go, Furlo! Yep. It's a nice little ascot or whatever. She's a bad liar. Three pairs. Yeah. Doesn't really look good for you, Liz. No. Murder bass. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's too much, dude. But he knows she did it, so he like keeps going after. Her. Was that water? Cause it looked like milk for a second. Maybe I'm just seeing things. You're scary. Yeah, sure. Lizzie. Lizzie, you're, you're not really proving that you're innocent. You're just proving to be more freaking shady and suspicious. You have to go. But you, you inherited a lot. Miss Lizzie? Wow. I wonder if Emma was even in that part of that conversation to let her go. Dang. Morphine for sleep, morphine for anxiety. <laughs> Dang. Morphine all day. I've only really heard of morphine used for like pain. Well, you burned your dress, so that's suspicious. I'd be like, I'm moving out, sis. Suck it. You're too suspicious for me. I'm taking my half of the estate and leaving. <laughs> then they show the pieces of it. Whoa! Oh. Whew.
those are pretty cute. She just now chose to lock it? Dang. This could be a morphine junkie now. It's morphine addictive. I don't know. My nose is like attacking me. I don't appreciate it. Okay? My stupid nose. She's like, ooh, water. I had pears. That's all. I just... Ooh. Ooh. She's like, I'm losing it. She's like, I don't remember my story, sorry. <laughs> Whoa! Struck a nerve. That close up though was like, Dang. Sorry, my nose is like, ugh. <laughs> Excuse me, she's like. <laughs> I like how her middle name, like Lizzie's middle name is her father's first name. Huh. Gosh, my nose. Sorry. Keep talking about it. Music's fun. He's the fanciest looking fella I've ever seen. Because you're shifty. So she's not even in like a real jail. They brought her here because they don't house female prisoners. Wow. Wow.
Yeah, that's... Duh. Yorker. <laughs> she just talks about the talks about the picture. You should be concerned about your life. There she is, there she blows. I'm like really hungry all of a sudden. <laughs> it's weird. Hungry for some pears. Not really. Oh, but it's so freaking hot. Over it, man. It's freaking hot, Lizzie Barden. It's freaking hot. My nose is gross. And I gotta sneeze fifteen hundred times. Really? She's pretty, she couldn't have killed anybody. So sorry, so sorry. It's so mysterious. <laughs> of murder. <laughs> it's all male jury too. It was a lot. She kept going. She's naked. That's right. And then she just put back on the dress. I heard that she did it. She used an actual axe to do the those scenes where she's like whacking. And axes are heavy. Whoa! Oh yeah, and then there was another axe murder afterwards, so it kind of looked weird. 
I guess it's like a copycat, like a, you know, kind of like a copycat thing. Uh oh. Another axe murderer. Or it's the same one. <laughs> We're gonna take a short recess. I'll meet you at the at the blue slide. My poor dog is like hot. The matter in which she was accused. Ooh. Ooh la la la. Ooh la la la. She swears. <laughs> Interesting. Lizzie could have just been a cheap. Why am I like all tired all of a sudden? Uh-huh. Things are coming together. Oh. <laughs> uh huh. And it makes it look that Bridget was uh, just being kept away from the murder scene. It was stew. Blood stew. <laughs> Well, don't yell. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. She was the first one to uh, 
quote unquote see him dead. Well, he has a point, but still, she could have done it naked like we've seen in the scenes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, that's right. She was like, I think she wanted to, uh, oh, so she was like, gonna like poison them. Which poison leaves less of a trace, but still could be connected back to ya. Head slash face. Well, in my opinion, wow. Then they continue because then it becomes passionate, they get into it. Is that what he said? Yeah. Okay. I forgot about that, that they brought the skulls. <laughs> Ooh. I'm so snivelly. to the house. I'd be like, I want to move. Huh? 
she's like, well, I don't know. her life. Yep. Ha! Why are you, uh... She's protecting her. Sure. Nope. Sure. <laughs> eh. There, whatever. But she did live with you. You can't save her, Emma. Yeah, so much suspicion. Normal people just throw it away. Huh. Hopefully I didn't mess up my wire on my microphone. Hopefully I didn't mess up my... Thing. Blood on it. Girl. But you would just throw it away if you were getting rid of stuff. All I'm saying, it's not looking good. <laughs> it's less a guilty. Terrible. Called an act. Eighteen for her and eleven for the dad, huh?
blood. Please don't sneeze. Assailant, that's a good word. I say. Uh, yeah, right. Where's he bowling? Oh, oh, sorry. Stuck in the back of my throat. Ding! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Same thing I was gonna say. Young lass. Gentlemen. Ooh. She's a butcher with a smile. <laughs> Why would I kill my parents when I'm such a good girl? I'm innocent. Why am I so tired all of a sudden? How many is on the jury? I didn't, I didn't really get to, what's it called? Count like 10? They've decided. Why is everyone outside so loud right now? Shut up. I'm making something. If you don't have food to give to me, then leave. <laughs> Uh. Is it a bad sign? Pulling out my full name there, Your Honor. God, this is like with with Casey Anthony, where you know she fucking did it, but she got off. You know, an acquittal, it's, I'm trying to, like, think of, like, the modern-day Lizzie Borden is pretty much Casey Anthony with her freaking innocent daughter. I remember when they... determined... Huh. Huh. 
What say you? Oh! And it didn't take them long. They're, they, I think part of it had to do with the, she was like a woman, so they're like, we'll acquit her. I mean, intense. I think all that's left is they just, like, fill you in on, like, yeah, this guy shows up. I forgot about this guy showing up. Hello. Was that their new house? I think they moved. Since she she say there's a new one at Maplecroft. Yeah, people act weird around them, and they're like, "Oh shit, I guess we have to move." You know, you really messed up if you're not even accepted in church. Just saying. <laughs> I guess they're accepted. They're just people leaving. Oh, yeah. Turn up. I think in real life, um, Emma, like, like, lives on her own. Like, she doesn't live with her sister. Probably because she knew her sister did it. So she's like, peace out, bitches. <laughs> ah! Huh? Cavalier. That's a good one. They're afraid of you. Oh. That too. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm remembering things now. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, I almost forgot that she like reveals everything to her. God, and this, the, the soft whispers are creepy too. Her hair still looks good, even though she's <laughs> murdering people. Ah! Ugh. It's a small one. That's like practically a hatchet, right? Why would she tell her sister all that? Like, shoot. I like the way the first time they show it, because it's like, oh, it's mysterious. Yeah, when they have heard him scream that one time, Lizzie, why are you naked? Like, not everything's gonna be fine after you just admit to murdering both of the parents. Ah! Uh, it's a 
something, something is stuck in the back of my throat. I don't know what. Father is dead. I am twelve. Ah. I love she sits down like, mm, more tea? Like, <laughs> <laughs> damn. So like, uh, yeah. Deal with that. Keep in mind, Emma could like turn her in too. That's lovely to listen to. Like, peace out, I'm leaving. That was some quick pecking. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm being like choked by my own throat. If her father, 41, even though it was like, what, 29 altogether? But 40 sounds more. Emma Borden left Fall River. The sisters never saw each other again. Well, can you blame her? No one was ever convicted of the, for the murders of Andrew and Abby Borden. Well, yeah, because she was acquitted. Um, is that all? Okay. Yeah, um, what's interesting is at, in the Chronicles, the, the sisters live together, and I know, like, well, the, the movie was definitely based off of, like, what happened, like, true story, and I think I remember reading that, yeah, she did, like, move out, like, she left that little town or whatever, she lives somewhere else, and, I mean, can you blame the chick? But in the Chronicles, it's part... Some of the stuff is, like, you know, historically accurate, but the, I know that the sisters didn't live together, so it's, like, the, like the Chronicle, the little miniseries is, like, they live together, and it's, like, Lizzie still being... Lizzie being violent and whatever... And uh, it's like the aftermath of like their lives after the acquittal. So it's, you know, uh, heavy, but uh, it's a decent movie. And I think it originally appeared on, was it a TV movie? I think it might've been made for a TV movie, but I don't remember. Um, have a good day. Sorry, my nose and my throat were like, <laughs> give me issues, but I don't know what's wrong with me. So, bye guys.